What is going on guys? Great for today. I want to talk about how you can take advantage of the Jester's Festival event and really gain some levels on a new character, uh, rank up a new character quickly if you're looking to power level something, or if you're like the majority of us out there, grind some serious uh, champion points during this week long event. Of course, this event starts Thursday, March the 25th, so we get this here in a few days. Like I said, it will only last a week. I was thinking in the past, it may have been several years ago that this event used to last two weeks because we had this event and then pretty much the anniversary event pretty much back to back. We almost got like a month long uh, double XP kind of thing going on. Uh, I'm not sure if they've just kind of trimmed this down this year because of, you know, time restraints, that kind of thing. You know, all this DLC and things they've added into the game. They have a lot of different events and, you know, things going on. But this is a really good time to take advantage of this double XP. Uh, your XP scrolls and every every pretty much everything else in game that you can do to gain some serious CP levels. Now, of course, this Jester's Festival, uh, the Jester's Festival event, will have daily quests. You can do a total of six. They have three new ones they've added from the past, so we have the three old, uh, you know, quests and three new ones as well. I will link the Jester's Festival kind of guide up in the top corner right now. What kind of explains what's going on with the event, uh, the event, what you can get, that kind of thing. But the main thing I want to talk about this uh, in this video is going to be, of course, the memento that we get that's going to give you that 100% XP boost. Now, this memento can be used anytime during the event to get that 100% XP boost. So it's not like you can use it once and it's done. You can use it. If you played for 24 hours straight, you could get a 24 hour straight 100% XP boost. All you have to do is just every two hours, once it runs out, is just reapply the memento and you will have that 100% XP boost. You can stack XP scrolls or XP pots with this, uh, you know, XP scrolls that you get from our, you know, daily rewards, uh, XP scrolls you may have gotten from uh, crown crates. Of course, XP pots can be purchased in game. So you can stack a 50%, 100%, or 150% with this uh, Memento XP boost from the event. And you can get some serious uh, XP going. So, for example, if we have the 100% boost going here, of course, uh, you know, with the event come Thursday, and you stack 150% pot or uh, scroll, you're going to have 250% XP, which is a lot of XP in game. There's a lot of ways that you can take advantage of that much XP, like I said, and gain some serious levels or some serious uh, CP grinding. Um, one thing you cannot do, and I'm sure most of you know, but just in case, if you are new to the game, you cannot ever stack uh, scrolls and pots or anything like that together in game. So just in case you're curious, you know, could you add a an XP you know, a pot to this and then stack a scroll on top of that. That does not work. The only time you can ever stack, you know, any kind of, any kind of XP items is when we do have an event. So, you know, you can stack a, scr a scroll or a pot with that, but you cannot combine scrolls and pots together and stack them with that XP we get from the event, if that does make sense. Um, when it comes to another way that you can gain some serious XP uh, during this is training gear. Um, make you some training gear, have a guild member make some training gear, a friend, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can get 70% training or 70% extra XP with training gear on uh, without a weapon. If you have a weapon with training on it, you're looking at 78%. So that's another good thing you can do uh, if you're going to go out and mob farm, that kind of thing. Uh, ESO Plus, if you're not an ESO Plus member yet, or if you are an ESO Plus member, you know you do get that 10% XP bonus. That, you know, it's permanent as long as you have ESO Plus, you know. It's just something that's just active as soon as you get the membership. Uh, of course, the Pledge of Mara. So if you marry someone in game, you'll get another XP bonus. And if you're doing any activities in game, you want to be in a group of two. I know a lot of people think um, from you know past years, if you played the game for a while, Dolman Farming, you always see people in big groups. Uh, and I think they can gain more XP from larger groups. Actually, in game, you're going to gain the most XP from being in a group of two. So that is pretty much, you know, the kind of where you want to keep it at. So if you have a, a, a bunch of friends that want to go do things, you want to go mob farm or whatever, just make sure you break up into groups of two. That way, all of you are getting the max XP that you can being in that group of two. Um, also, if you kind of think about this, you're going to get 250 XP or percent plus, depending on what you have. So like I said, if you had 100%, you have the 100% event XP boost and you had a 150% scroll or pot on, that's going to be 250% XP right there already. If you add, you know, things like the Pledge of Mara, the ESO plus bonus uh, training gear, you're looking at 250% plus XP bonus. So you can gain some serious uh, levels during this week long event. And of course, there's tons of ways that you can go about, you know, grinding these levels. You can mob grind. I, I made a video a few days back. Uh, talking about some of the best areas that you can kind of mob grind in uh, just kind of some basic uh, non-DLC zones. 
Uh, so if you know you don't have all the DLC or something like that, uh, you can do things like easy dungeon runs. A lot of people like to go in just do some easy dungeons. Some things they can just burn through really, really quick. Get some good XP that way. Public dungeons, of course, Dolman Farming, uh, Skyreach. You can go up, uh, of course, uh, and do Skyreach if you have a friend to do a Skyreach run with you. Um, Master Ritz is another really good way. And I don't have as many as most people will. Um, we're going to see right here. I do have a good bit of Master Ritz saved up. So what you're going to want to do, of course, is go. I'm on console, so what I do is I actually go do these. Like, I will take these with me. I can see what, of course, what I have to make here. I will go craft them all. Instead of opening them, opening them individually, I will go craft them all and then go turn them all in at once. So what you're going to be really be looking for is Alchemy Ritz and Enchanter Ritz. And I have a good bit, not as many as some, of course. Of course, you can do any writ that you have, but Alchemy and Enchanter are usually the cheapest. Now, this event's coming up. A lot of people have marked these up in price uh, here on console. I'm sure on other platforms as well, or here on PS4 anyway. But these right here are usually the cheapest. And the reason you want to do these, of course, is you get good XP for turning these in anyway. But just imagine having you know a 250% plus XP gain turned on with these and you turn these in. You're going to be able to gain some serious levels just from this. And there's a lot of people that actually level characters from 0 to 50 uh, when XP events are going on, or when XP when XP events start, excuse me, uh, they can go from zero to fifty in like twenty minutes uh, if they have enough, you know, Enchanter and uh, Alchemy Ritz available. So that is also another good way that you can do that. Like I said, you can go out and actually buy Enchanter and Alchemy Ritz. They have gone up in price a little bit. I know on PS4 at least. I'm sure on other platforms as well. Just because people know that the events coming up and people actually that's kind of how they grind CP or power level or whatever the case may be. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope this kind of helps you out, kind of gave you an idea of how you can take advantage of this. Now, I would recommend doing your, of course, your, you know, your event things every day. There's a lot of cool things that are available during the events. But once you get done doing those, of course, uh, you know, dailies and, and things like that, buying, getting your tickets, all that good stuff. I would highly recommend grinding out some levels if, you know, you're trying to level up quicker. If you're trying to gain some P, uh, CP with the new update 29 you know, kind of update with the unlock or the, you know, the cap being unlocked at 3,600. There's a lot of good ways you can take advantage of some serious levels in the next week, starting this Thursday, of course, March the 25th, the Jester's Festival. I hope this helps you out. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Uh, the website along with five percent discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well and i'll catch you all next time peace